everybody <laughs> my name is Enrica if you don't know me and today I recreated my version of this devil look I hope you love it if you are into theatrical stuff like me then this is definitely the video for you uh, also this is my first ever YouTube tutorial so please bear with me like while I adjust lightings voice and everything basically technical i would appreciate any constructive criticism so if you want to give me a follow on instagram uh, follow enrica underscore fox and you can dm me your ideas your opinions they are more than welcome guys we just want to go on and prime our eyes i'm gonna use the urban decay eye primer in aiden and what you want to do is basically just go all over your eyelid and then just kind of like blend it with your finger sorry i forgot to mention this like i'm using um contact lenses already for the look uh, the brand that um i am using at the moment is called ttdi uh, they've been extremely kind to me and they send me like a discount code so if you want to use enrica at checkout um just go ahead and you can get like some money off Okay, so what I'm using now is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. I am obsessed with this palette and with him. Um, what I'm doing, I'm basically just buffing the colour in. Okay, so I'm gonna start again with the other eye as well. You can just go like on top of the eyeshadow base, you don't need to set it because we want the colour to be as vibrant as we can. This is a prick again from... Um, the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. Okay, so we're gonna go with a MAC 224 brush and we're just gonna blend it out and run out this eye look. By the time that this video is gonna be out, it's gonna be so late. And then what I'm gonna use is gonna be like the Cherry Soda from the Jeffree Star Palette. So I take the excess off, the excess off and then just go and build that shape up again. Way that it actually can help you out, like when you do like a more elongated eye, is instead of going like with circular motion on this area, just brush all the color out. So this one is gonna just make everything more elongated and it's not gonna be patchy. So with another clean brush. Maybe like we can use the previous one that we used like to blend everything out. We're just gonna go again and basically just kind of like brush all the color out. You want to go like above your temples as well. I usually go like on my eyebrows as well. Um, it's just because it's gonna be like a lot more blended lately. Like once we're gonna draw everything in, trust me. Trust the process. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start with the eyeliner and then we're gonna create this, the cut eye basically. So I'm gonna use a brush black from MAC. This is the best eyeliner I ever came across. So yeah, you want to be like a bit thicker with the liner and then what you want to do is basically just draw a really long line. I think it's not long enough but we're gonna work on it. I'm just gonna connect the top of the eyeliner with the tail yeah you kind of like want to map it out I want to kind of like make it a bit kind of like arched in here so let's see anyway like all the inside as you've seen is like it's gonna be covered in glitter so
Then once we got the first die mapped, we can go with the other one. So I'm gonna start concealing the under eye and what I use is um, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW25. Now I am definitely olive skin tone but if you, and I got like green, green guys under eye bags as you can see. Um, so if you use an NW, it basically like kind of like cancels the green under the eyes because it's like they are opposite colors in the color wheel. Um, so what I do on myself and like on some of my customers sometimes is um, going with an NW because it covers it covers the under eye bags like better than an NC. I'm gonna go with my uh, MAC 24 hours concealer. I am in love with it because it does increase and it keeps on moisturizing my skin under the eye so it doesn't leave it dry and uh, you know it's like when your skin becomes like it looks like it's cracked underneath your eyes right this one leaves it like really nice and hydrated that's why i love it okay so we're gonna go and conceal under the eyes this is an nc25 so it's a bit more yellow and i use it to highlight as well so as you can see it's just adding brightness we're gonna go with the same 217 brush that we used before and i am going in with brick I really like to go with um, the powder straight on top of the cream and then blend it and then set it and then go with the eyeshadow again. I don't know if it makes any sense but I find it like a lot better to blend and like for the color payoff as well. And I look at the color payoff and this is literally without nothing underneath you've seen it with a Cosette brush, like fat flat, flat brush just under my eyelash line like when I go in this area I kind of like strike it like towards the um, outer areas of my face and this one it kind of like elongates the look again and then it's just about blending guys, I'm really sorry, like, can be boring. Sorry. To apply the glitters I'm gonna use a 239 brush, this is a normal flat brush. And then I'm gonna go with MAC Cosmetics Mixing Medium um, Eyeliner. I applied the Mixing Medium onto the brush and then I'm just applying it all over my eyelid and then you just want to dab the glitters in i am obsessed with this netflix series guys it's like seriously you need to watch it it's called the haunting of hill house um not the accent but yeah that's the movie um it's insane it's so good seriously and it's like it's the first horror movie that it gets horror at every second <laughs> it gets scary in every minute of the movie like you think it's like usually it's like it's just a night and you say it's like okay like it's morning like nothing bad is gonna happen it happens it happens every time like seriously you think that it's like you're in a safe environment in a safe situation and you think it's like oh, okay i can be calm now it's like nothing bad is gonna happen and then boom it happens um it's insane it's like I'm, i think it's like a go um, the last four episodes to watch and it makes me really sad because I wanted to go on and on So I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life when this series is gonna end Okay, so once again, I'm gonna use the MAC Studio Fix uh, Fluid in NC25 We want to get like that full coverage in And I love I tried so many foundations in my life guys um, I have to say, MAC Studio Fix Fluid is, I think it's like my favorite. I go with strobe cream before and that's why I love strobe cream so much. Um, it just makes it like a lot more moisturizing and uh, softer on the, on the skin. I use just um, a brush, like a 1 to 9 brush uh, by MAC. This is, um, the brushes that I've got guys, they all, um, the old... <laughs> natural brushes. I had them like in my old kit 
and I'm not gonna get rid of them because the, the the hair is easy and amazing so the mascara that I'm using is I'm gonna be boring guys it's MAC in Extreme Dimension The lashes that I'm using guys is, sorry I forgot to mention, is the Amber Rose Lashes. So guys, once we've got this look, I just want to um, kind of like blend the eyeshadow a bit lower because we want this look to be as dramatic as we can. And then I'm just kind of like try to focus like in here, like in like this little corner. Don't worry if you make mistakes. We can always re-blend it. So what I'm gonna do this time, just because I already set my foundation. So I'm gonna use like a normal like um kind of like nude pencil. This is by Rimo. The number it's 005 nude. Um, so we're gonna go with this one and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna kind of like map where this wears it's gonna be and then I'm gonna go with the liner on top um, so I think I want this wear to start like midway from actually like, let's start from the middle Yeah, and I think we got the first one done. So what I'm gonna do like with a flat brush, just gonna go and make this part like a bit it's so hard guys once you set it just gonna be a mess so maybe do this part before setting everything uh, let's go and do the thin line now and pray for the best because that's what I do every time I do my looks it's like just pray for the best um, let's go for it These gems, they are all from eBay. Um, they are like two quids, like per packet. Uh, depends, like from where it comes from. Sometimes, like most of the time, like I don't pay for shipping. Um, so basically, it's like it's just two quids, and like I use my little brow tweezers, and I really should invest in something to apply, it, like pro how to professionally apply glitters uh, or gems on my face. But it's okay, like this one is doing a great job anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go here. Guys, this is a great way as well to cover mistakes. So for example, if you made a mistake on a liner, like you can apply like gems maybe like all around here. That I think is that that would look great and as well as like it would it would just like I mean like save the situation if you're not happy with the liner. So I'm gonna go and keep on sticking the gems as symmetric as possible. The way that I apply these gems, I used to use the Creolan glue, but if you use the duo glue and you use quite a lot of it, I'm just gonna let it dry for a bit and then once it actually dries, it, it works, it does work. So well done to duo glue for being able to stick like even the heaviest of the gems. I traced my moustache and then we're gonna go with the liner again so let's pray for the best and let's hope that it's gonna be as symmetric as possible.
So I'm using Cherry by MAC. It's a gorgeous red. It's got a lot of a pink undertone, I would say. But it's gonna be covered by the lipstick, which is not a problem. The lip liner is all over the lips. I'm gonna go with the Retro Matte Lipstick by MAC again. This is called Fissel Grand. It's an amazing intense red. It's got a bit of a blue undertone. The gems glue should be like dry now, so I kind of like gonna place them between the moustache and the as well on my eye. Um, so let's give it a shot. Is it? Yeah. Try to be like as symmetric as you can. Obviously, like for this look, I want to be like super symmetric. What I'm gonna do, I need to put my head up again and I'm gonna do like a bit of body painting because I want to show you how I do my um, glitter pieces um, that you see on my Instagram and I received, I'm really sorry that it's like I am so late with um, the tutorials it, it, I'm really camera shy, um, I mean it's like it's, one thing is like taking pictures of yourself and then the other thing is like talking to a camera <laughs> uh, and trying to answer all the questions that you guys ask me uh, so I know this I mean it's the first time I'm pretty sure it's like going on with the time it's like I'm gonna be like a bit more smooth uh, and a bit more myself as well because I think it's like my accent and like some of the things that I'm gonna say in this video is gonna be ridiculous uh, but um, yeah let's see uh, the outcome uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put my head up again to do body paint, I actually avoid to use my uh, brushes that I use for my freelance kit just because it stains quite a lot. Um, for example, <laughs> these brushes, I can't use it in my kit anymore just because they are clean, I just wash them, they smell amazing. To avoid the, the chroma cake is gonna stain, I'm just gonna go with a tiny bit of body moisturizer and go like all over my skin this is actually a good excuse for me to moisturize because i never moisturize i am the worst with skincare as i already said before uh, this one works as well as like when you do freelance uh, you don't want to apply body paint straight on skin guys just because the models i mean you don't want to do that to them like when they're gonna go home and shower and trying to remove like the makeup so always try to moisturize and make everybody's life easier uh, that would be really cute of you, like if you can do it like on freelance and stuff. Okay, so, I'm gonna use like a jar and I filled it with water. You can obviously, um, you can also use like um, setting sprays to melt the formula of the chroma cakes. These ones are like basically pow pressed powders and they are water activated. Um, you can use fixed plus, but because I use like quite a big quantity, I just want to... Um, I'm just cheap. I use water. It's free. Going with a chroma cake and then just building the color up. Um, I'm not using a mirror. I'm actually using the screen of my camera. Um, so I'm not seeing if it's being streaky or not. Um, but I'm gonna check later. This is pretty, pretty much like self-explanatory. I'm just going all over my body with uh, the red paint. Okay. When it comes to the jaw, um, what do you want to do is because like, you want to create like a sharp line in here. Um, let the brush guide you. Um, what I do as well is like I kind of like press the brush 
um, in my jaw. Oh my gosh, there is a van guys parked outside and there is like a skeleton sitting inside. This freaked the crap out of me. Oh gosh, it have, I saw it the other night and it was fine because I was with my boyfriend now. I just like turned around and he was like just there looking at me. Oh, okay. Um, so, um, you want to kind of like press the brush towards your jawline and then that's where you find your your natural curve. Natural curve. Um, so yeah, let's go for it. Let's give it a try. Perfect. And one side is done. It's sharp, you don't have to go over it. Obviously guys, if you're going to a Halloween party and like you want to do body paint, I would say like just set it with a bit of translucent powder because you don't want it to go on people, on your clothes, on anything. So just put like a bit of setting powder and avoid to put like scarves or like obviously like cover it with anything. Here you go. And we got the red. I'm gonna go with the glitters again um, these I'm gonna use like my old brush so this one is the one that I say previously that is already stained smells good um, and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go with the glitters and then dab it all over my body um, little tip for this if you don't want to squeeze an entire tube of like mixing medium because it's like the tubes are like this size um, take Vaseline. Vaseline is the best you get like for glitters and do body paint. Yeah we want to make like everything like shiny like I think it's like it just makes everything like a lot more appealing and like nicer so I'm just going like with my glitters and in sacral motions I'm just covering all the red body paint Guys, the skeleton inside the van is giving me anxiety. But I'm pretty happy with, I mean, it's like from here in the camera, it looks insane. But then we need to take in consideration that I am blind and the camera screen is small. I don't even know if everything is out in focus. Um, so yeah, that's a struggle that we're gonna deal with later. Okay guys, so what I want to do now is just um, adjust my hair and then I see you with the finished look. So what I did, I just, Kind of like slick my hair back uh i mean they're not the greatest stage now but yeah i just put them back so i was thinking is like to finish i should do like what all what everyone does like at the end of the video i should give you like a bit of sauce so well, let's see 